How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to more than the Nostalgic Train. Okay, so, at the end of the last episode, I went off and tried to get a Serenity Power. I went about it slightly the wrong way. I had to experiment for a bit off-screen to figure out what the heck I was doing wrong, and I'm going to showcase... I can't guarantee me getting one because the, the percentage is like... 20 percent also if you before i finish that if you guys hear uh coughing in the background pink fox is very sicky and because this is like a office bedroom like everything every room is in one room kind of thing yeah just just so you guys know yeah she's not Yeah, sinus infection is really causing a bad impact on her. We're not at the beginning of summer. We're still in... You're... I, th I think Pink Fox forgets where she is. My poor steak, what do you expect? Statement stands. <laughs> anyway, um... Let's see, okay, so... I guess this is just kind of a thing before we begin the official episode. Where the heck is the other guy? If it's the norm, he's gonna be down there. Yeah, see him. I see him. I was right. You're way too predictable now. Ah! Uh oh. Ah, that was fun. Okay, see you, punk. Actually, I want all those. Give me all the bubbles. Give me the bubbles! Uh, excuse me, can I... Thank you. Wait, where are the... Where are the other dude? Wait, where is the other dude? Actually, I might have an idea, but... Ah! Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't see him over there that time, but I don't know where they are. Okay, take two, hopefully, is a bit better than take one. Here. You're giving me things what... <sighs> Pink Fox is very, uh... Indecisive right now about Are some things. Not? Are you sure about that? Yes. Where's the turf? Ah! My goodness, what the... Wait, where's the last one? If I was indecisive, I wouldn't be here. I figured it out. Okay, fair enough. But I meant current things. So, you are current, but you're not? No. Oh, because you're past. I'm past, present, and future. I'm like the ghost of Chris... I'm, I'm the ghost of... Uh... I don't know, the ghost of, uh, Butthole's past? I, I don't know. I don't know if that's this. Oh, gosh! It was way too close. Alright, where's the last dude? Actually, if he's down here, that'd be really helpful. Can he be down here, please? Hello? Hello? Dude, where are you, man? I'm struggling to look for just one of these. <sighs> Maybe he's on the top one. 
Ah, wait. Why can I suddenly hear him? But I can't see him. I need high ground. Actually, if he was in here, I'd still be... Yeah. Oh, gosh. Ah, camera, 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 camera. Woo! Yeah, look at that! Where is he? Okay, not there. Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to get to the top here and see if I can find him by looking around. Huh. He is right there. Hey, butthole. He's just not in the right there I was thinking of. So the idea behind getting the Serenity Power, at least for me, first of all, summon Bambi to refill the MP. Come here, Bambi! Baby. Arrow. I may have messed that up. You know what? Screw it. This guy doesn't really go anywhere until later on. But anyway, I can't dismiss you. Sora. Goofy. Donald. You guys can't really attack this character, but it, eh, it. Eh. Items. Uh. Ether on Sora. And. Oh, you butt! Magic. Safra. And. Just constantly use Ragnarok. That's pretty much how I did it. I, th I think I was a bit off, but... Whoa. No, there you go. Serenity power. You see me, saw me get one. Finally! That's how I'm... I, I don't know why I didn't remember that earlier. What is this? Get Donald? Are you trying to hide my... What item is this? That well, must be something I'm already fully stocked on. Okay. Well, done and done with that. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, di eh. You know, I'll keep Diamond Dust because this is the last time we're ever going to use it. But there you go. That's how you get Serenity Power. It's a pain in the butt to do. Especially since it can take a long freaking time sometimes. It's still a pain in the butt. But it's totally rad, dude, when you finally have it, man. All right. Let's go get Ultima! Freaking finally, not just Ultima, but Donald and Goofy's ultimate weapons too. Unfortunately, unlike the rest of the games, it's not save the king and save the queen. I think Donald's ultimate weapon in this game is called Nebula and Goofy's... I don't remember. I actually even mean... I mean, I still might be wrong about Donald's. Hey! Hey! Let's finish this. Dude, you look totally rad, man! First device? First device? What the hell is first device? Get the ribbon. Get out of here! Hey! Synthesis 
that. Achievement earned. Okay. Fantastic. Fant oh, fa this is basically referencing Fantasia. Seven elements. And... I need three more Serenity powers. Why? Alright, well... I figured my math was going to be off. Fudge. I think I still have the one, so I think I just have to get two more. Son of a butthole! Right? I still have one. Please. Tell me only have to get two more. This long list of things, where would it be located anyway? Crap. No. Wow. I have to get it three more times. After that, we should be completely in the clear. Oh, boy. Ah! That is like the opposite of rad. That is just totally not tubular, man. Like, I totally can't deal with these wavelengths right now, dude. Ugh. I'll be right back. Well, that only took forever. Uh, I mean... I, if I could... There we go. Dude, that was totally not tubular, man. I don't know the term for that. I wasn't born in the 80s. Or the 70s or 60s. All right, let's go get this last thing and move on. Grinding for this just sucks. I'm not even gonna lie, it's, it's the. Let's set the size. And finally, the last Item, Synthesis Master. And now, to equip Sora with Ultima. Yeah, big time stronger. And Goofy with seven elements. What? You know what, never mind. Seven elements isn't Goofy's strongest, apparently. Donald with... Um... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. We're good. So, uh, you're literally the only one who has the better weapon in this case. Wow. Dude! That's totally not rad, man. Now let's go kick two guys' butts. I don't know why I hesitated to go over there. Bro. All right. Let me showcase the real reason why I have this game's, uh, in my opinion, coolest keyblade. Hey, buddy. I'm ready for one more battle. The platinum match. This is going to be interesting. Hello. Bro, hi, hi. <laughs> you know the sunglasses make it very hard to see you at all, Sephiroth. Hi. Oh. All right.
Alright, fine. I'll do my normal strat instead. Alright, I forgot to re- Damn it. Um, Sephiroth, I might just let you- You know what? Wait, hold on, hold on. We failed. I forgot to do something. Cause I is an idiot. Let's see, what do I not want? Ragnarok won't be helpful for me here. Uh. Ars Arcanum, neither. Actually, the uh, attack that could be the biggest help here, in my opinion, would be Strike Raid. Unleash a powerful finishing combo? Nah. Uh. Do I want anything else? Well, I no longer need Lucky Strike. I probably won't use that. Okay, you know what? Sure. Sure. Alright, bro. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. I just put my hand up in front of Sephiroth. I was like, dude, bro, no, 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 never mind. I, I, I forfeit this round. Now. Bro! Alright, dude. That is a bit too close for my liking. Thank you. Sephiroth. Alright. I mean, I'm already out of your way, so hopefully me being out of your hair is helpful to you. Oh, gosh! I guess it's not helpful. I forgot to equip elixirs. That sucks. Whoa! Hi. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh, you are not finishing that. Ow. Bruh. You know, bro. Bro. Bro, hold still. Dude. Nice. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. He's almost dead anyway. You can't hurt me while I'm in Sonic Blade mode, you know. Yeah, you don't know that, do you? Yeah. Bruh. 
bro. You do realize you're dead, right? And, yeah. There you go. Seth, Seth, Seth. <laughs> totally tubular battle, man. So, what do you have to say for yourself? You kicked my butt a few times. That's because I wasn't prepped. I was prepped, and I kicked your butt like that. But we got one other dude to deal with. With, like, 18 more minutes. And this dork's got to get the hiccups out of me. That's impossible. <laughs> Is it? I've tried before. They naturally come out. No, they don't. Depends on the time in person. Also, trophy and one wing angel. Yeah. I'm not a one winged angel. No, because that guy tried to murder a whole society of individuals. Hello. A whole planet of individuals, actually. Well, Pig Fox is in the picture now. Dude! Love you too, Pig Fox. Love you more. Are you. Wait. Ooh, this is interesting. Too pretty. Alright. Come on out, Sephiroth. The battle here, actually, I've seen this scene before. It's not as good as the one they provided, too, for the same kind of concept. Two does it better. Two does a lot of things this, that this game doesn't. That does. The two, two does better than this on three does better than two. Let's put it that way. I've been looking for you. Oh, really, Cloud? As am I. As long as you exist, I'll never wake from this nightmare. You're my darkness. I'm a part of you, am I? Then join me in this eternal nightmare, untarnished by light. I don't like where this is going. Hello? And I will admit, the way I went about that was a really cheap way of beating this guy, but hey, it's still technically allowed because it's not like using glitches or anything. Okay, that cutscene was awesome, actually. Not as cool as the ones we're going to see in the future, but you know. Alright, next up. How a bastion. <sighs> Let's see. In the castle chapel. And let's give Sora four elixirs. Do I have four elixirs for Sora, actually? Yeah. realized what I was doing wrong why wasn't I doing it this way in the first place I don't know anyway next up in another dark room I can't wear my sunglasses more let's go fight this butthole whoever's in here hello Dude, whoa, hi. <gasps> this is not a horror game. Stop it. Hi. Who are you? I know who that is, but I'm not saying anything. Uh, it seems you are special too. Close. 
That name rings familiar. You remind me of him. What's that supposed to mean? What? Yeah, you're not gonna know yet. What, suddenly is this Star Wars? Well! It means you are not whole. You are incomplete. Am I now? Allow me to test your strength. That took you forever to say. All right. You're asking at a bad time, but okay. Basically the same way I beat the other guy. I'm gonna kick this guy's butt the same way, which means I'm golden. <laughs> Bro! Actually, which does me better? I think strike rate actually does a little bit more. Oh well. Either or. Alright, I'm gonna be over here. Hitting you with the. I'm gonna hit you with your own fist. Ow. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, gosh. Uh, thanks, Donald, actually. Thank you very much. Uh oh. Come here! You made me waste a bunch of magic on you because you wouldn't hold still. How dare you! Stop it! Dude. This guy really doesn't like holding still. Uh oh. No! Dang it! Oh, crap. Yes! One. Boom! There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was rough, but that was tubular, man. Okay. I'm bringing up this guy way too much. I haven't brought Jonathan out in a while, okay? You don't know who he is? I'm not surprised. He's shown up like in one or two other things. Well? What do you gotta say? Impressive. That doesn't say very much, but fine. This will be enjoyable. What? It is beyond your comprehension for now. Until we meet again. Which we will. Multiple times. Eh, eh, boy. I am.
apparently gone. But a mere shell. Obtain the EXP necklace, which I don't need, and Ansem's report number 13, which should complete Ansem's reports. Let's go check this out. He who doesn't exist. Gee, I wonder if we know who that is. And Trophy Earned Searcher as well. Cool. Trophy Earned Professor. Nice. That's awesome. All right. So. With that done and done, first of all. Let's head to the final rest spot. And then after that, we'll check out... Ansem's reports, and then leave it after that, because I do want to read those. Yeah, all 13 of them. So. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us so? As a ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments cause the test subject's hearts to collapse including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are. My treatments produce no signs of recovery. I can find those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Some time later, I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seemed born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows of those who lost their hearts at my experiments? More or less. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts? Or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately... There is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the Heartless. The Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. They responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the Heartless become heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with them? It's just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? No, that's a different individual being. To study heartless behavior, I picked one of, out of observation. It wiggled its antenna and, as if sensing a target, headed deep into the castle. In the deepest part of the castle, its antenna began vibrating as if searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I had never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but didn't seem to be locked. 
So I opened the door. But I saw on the other side, mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? Possibly. The massive core of energy lay beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may well be the ultimate goal of the all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon my observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts, and they yearn for the that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart too. The heart of this world. There is no proof, but... Having felt that immense energy, I am certain that was the heart of the world. The Heartless and are trying to take hearts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? I don't know. I am now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find! The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Sounds like you're describing Orichalcum, actually. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow. But I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. There is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mysteries shrouding the heart. As a start, I have built a device that artificially creates Heartless. Why would you do that? By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally. I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research thus far. The machine's test runs successfully, creating a Heartless. This may be a step toward creating a heart from nothing. Why would you want to do that? The artificially and naturally created heart heartless showed nearly identical traits. But Are you getting types... annoyed by my voice? No, I just wanted to read it. <laughs> but the two types should remain distinct for the purposes of this experiment, so I will mark the ones that are created artificially. Oops. Simply astonishing. Today I only had another yes from another world. He is a king, and a vessel was built of the material that composed the meteors, called the pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my opening that door has opened a path to interworld travel. Whoa, hair, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Huh? <sighs> Whenever I read the finish reading these, I'll be done. Pig Fox is growing impatient. Yeah. This video's been... No way. About 40 some odd minutes. It's... This one's running longer because it's bonus stuff, okay? It only says 14, though. That's because I'm doing this in cuts. Wow. So you don't have to do the next three weeks? No. Those are all being combined. Anyway... Keyblade is... What else is new? We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its wielder saved the world, while another says that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this Keyblade is. He opens doors. Must be connected to the door that I have opened. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in the night sky. 
and deep within each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire those hearts, born out of the darkness in people's hearts. They seek to return to a greater heart. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness. Pink Fox is doing this because she's hungry. Go get food. I want to wait for you. <sighs> is the core of the world's heart of world the world of heartless? I read that wrong. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. Bad idea, dude. Oops. Opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the Heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to retrieve each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's powers. She does. But I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. Yeah, I shall set her free and observe. The body is gone. The heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This one is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and it has yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation. Much is still unknown. To get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the doors of Kingdom Hearts, a place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details shall be archived in a separate report. There are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live, the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between. Wherein lies true nirvana. Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains, within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears. That is merely true in this world. Perhaps the body exists in another form in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds. A being that is neither darkness nor light, belonging nowhere, abandoned by its heart, a mere shell of its former self, like the guy we just fought. The relation between the heart and body is complex. However, I am certain that if your self exists here, then by definition, the other cannot truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. The enemy of the next game. Well... That was fun to read, but as you guys saw earlier, Pink Fox is getting very, very, very... Oh, wait, how did I miss this? Hungry. You should be glad I'm not hangry yet. Last well, time I got hangry, I almost tore off my dad's head. Anyway, gonna leave this here. We'll approach the final boss, which, again, probably will be another lengthy episode like this one. But all final episodes are. And bonus episodes I've noticed for me usually are too. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. We are very close to finishing this up. Next episode, you'll actually see a different background. But if you like this video, make sure to push that tubular like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. Okay, whatever. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. 
I have a suggestion for a Square Enix game or a Kingdom Hearts game you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out uh, anything else that's been done on this channel? Because this is like the first. Click like about right corner. Try to take it to that destination. Excuse me. If you miss any of the stops on this right, click the cross by right here and the train ticket there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!